Hello everyone, my name is Jane and welcome to my July TBR. So I'm so, so excited for July because basically July is my favorite month of the year because I have my birthday on July. So I'm always getting super excited for this month. I just really love July. My birthday is on the 25th, so it's like in the end of July. But I'm those kind of people that are getting extra excited about their birthdays. So I'm just so excited that we're finally getting to July this year. And I'm just very happy that I'm filming my TBR today. It's going to be uploaded a bit early. But honestly, I really want to understand my TBR and just not understand what I'm going to read in July. So like every month, I'm going to play today my TBR game, the TBR of Colors, and I'm so excited to get to it. But except my TBR game, there is a readathon that I'm going to participate in in July. This readathon is the Kingdom Hearts readathon. It's basically a one-week readathon in the beginning of July, and this readathon is hosted by Charlotte from Clumsy Charlotte. And I'm going to talk about all the details really, really soon. It's basically a readathon that is based on some sort of video game but I never played this game so you don't have to play this game or to know this game to participate in this readathon but basically this is more or less my plans for July. Unfortunately I've been in a really really bad reading slam for the past few months. I feel like I'm saying it in every TBR video and it's not like I'm not reading at all it's just that I'm reading a lot less than I'm used to. Like usually I was reading more than 10 books a month and in the past few months I've been reading less than 5 a month. In June so far I think that I read only three books so like I'm still in a really bad reading slam. I just want to say it because in July I'm probably going to mostly mood read but I still really want to play my TBR game and to get the five books that I usually get every month. I'm just not going to read anything more than those five books and I'm going to explain how the Kingdom Hearts readathon is going to play with my TBR game. So I think that let's just start. I'm just so so excited to share my TBR and yes let's hope that my TBR game will be really nice to me this month. So so let's start with the Kingdom Hearts readathon. Usually I'm starting with my TBR game, but there is a reason that I want to start with this readathon first, and you're going to understand it soon. But basically, the Kingdom Hearts readathon, like I said, is a one week readathon that is happening in the beginning of July. It's from July 4th until July 10th, so it's a Monday until Sunday, one week. And like I said, this readathon is hosted by Charlotte from Clumsy Charlotte. Basically, the Kingdom Hearts is some sort of video game that she really really loves and I think this game has an anniversary in the same date or something like this but I can be wrong about that but basically like I said you really don't need to know the game to participate in this readathon and this readathon is going to be so cool because basically this is an interactive readathon while you're reading you are going to have choices that are basically going to affect the prompts that you are going to get and basically everyone has its own path so in overall it means that Charlotte made a ton of videos and every time that you finish a book I guess there will be some sort of question and based on your choice you're going to get your next prompt and there is like going to be a lot of paths so it's going to be very very cool because you're basically not going to know what you're going to read and I feel like it's very perfect for mood readers. It is going to be only a one week readathon and because I'm in a reading slam I'm not sure how many books I'm going to read but I will try to read a lot of graphic novels and a lot of mangas because I really love them and I can read a lot of them in a really short time so that is my plan more or less trying to more mostly read mangas and graphic novels, maybe audiobooks, but basically so far Charlotte released the first prompt of the readathon. You basically have a choice between three prompts. I'm not sure what are the two other prompts, but I'm going to choose the shield prompt and this is basically a comfort read. So my plan is going to read some sort of graphic novel because I love graphic novels. They are definitely my comfort read. I just really really love them, but basically the whole idea is that the other prompts aren't going to be released until July 4th, the start of the readathon. So I'm not going to know what the prompts are. It's going to be a very read something and then choose what you're going to read. Again, perfect for mood readers like me. So I'm just also excited about it. I think it's such a great idea to do an interactive readathon. I'm sure it's going to be so much fun. Charlotte always put so much effort into her readathons. So I'm just really, really excited about it. And I feel like it's going to be a very good way to start my birthday month. So yes, I wanted to start with explaining this readathon first because basically right now the only thing that 
I have is a prompt of the comfort read that I need to choose a book from. So you know that my plan is to try get a graphic novel or a manga or something like this in my TBR game. So basically now we are going to go to my TBR game and hopefully I can get good prompts. Like I really hope that my TBR game will be nice to me. I will link the readathon announcement and the readathon Twitter and Discord in the video description. So all the full information and all the details are going to be there. So be sure to check it out because again, I'm sure it's going to be such a fun readathon. So now let's get to my TBR game, the TBR of Colors, and my goal is to get a graphic novel. Welcome to my TBR game, the TBR of Colors. We are here again with my TBR card. It's actually not organized already for a while, so ignore the books here. But basically a quick summary of the rules. I have a wheel of colors that I'm spinning five times. Every time that I land on a color, I need to choose a book with this color on the cover. The other slices that aren't colors are other prompts and stuff. I will link the full playlist in the video description. And in my January TBR, I have the full rules of the TBR game, so you can check it out. So this is the Wheel of Colors. And basically, like I said before, because I'm in a reading slam, I don't want to do more than five spins. Basically, here I have the rainbow slice. This slice means that when I land on it, I need to spin another time. So I removed it now, only for July. It's my birthday month. I'm in a reading slam. I want for my birthday month to be fun for me, so I don't want to get more than five books. So I just removed it. And now I'm going to spin for the first time. So let's hope for a good color or a good prompt. We were this close to the punishment slice, but I got yellow, which is my favorite color, so I think it's a great way to start the July. Okay, so for yellow is my favorite color. I almost don't have any yellow books, but I don't feel that yellow is a color that authors usually use in a book cover. But I do have Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. Like you can see, the majority of the cover isn't yellow, but I feel like there is enough yellow for me to consider it yellow. It's definitely a good amount of it. And basically, this is Christina Lauren, new romance. This book is on my summer TBR and I really want to read it. It's perfect for the summer, for July. And basically here we are following a woman. Her father is working in some kind of a treasure hunt. Until today, I can't really understand what it means. But basically she is running a business with him or something like this. She's basically doing tours with treasure hunt, I guess for people in vacation in summer. But then she's meeting her first love for, from a lot of years ago. I think it's a double P of a story. So we're going to follow the two characters. And yes, basically it's a Christina Lauren book. I usually really enjoy their books. I'm planning to read it in audiobook, so I feel like it will be a really quick and fun book to read in the summer. And maybe I can even squeeze it in the Kingdom Hearts readathon. But basically it's just a summer romance. I feel like it's the perfect timing to read summer romances. So this is my first book on my TBR. Like always, I removed the colors after I got them. Only the colors, not the prompts. So I removed the yellow. And now let's paint for the second time. Black is a great color because there is so many black books on my TBR. Okay, so for black, I do have a ton of black books, but most of them are or fantasy or thrillers. So I decided to go with On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden. Now, like you can see, this book is huge, but basically this is a graphic novel. This is a graphic novel that I think I have more than a year on my TBR. And the only reason that I didn't read it until today is because I'm saving it. It is a very long graphic novel, and I feel like a lot of times graphic novels are just too short and with this book I feel like you can get to a full story that will be with a lot of depth and basically the illustrations here are just so so beautiful it's like a really beautiful style and from what I remember we are following a teenager in two timelines yes we are following two timelines the current time of the story is when the main character joins a crew in the space or something like this and she is going back in the time to her high school when she met her first love I think it's a sapphic book so LGBTQ plus representation which is amazing and it is a very long book but I wanted to read this graphic novel for so long and like the majority is black so I just feel like it's a good timing to read it so this is my first graphic novel on my TBR. So I removed black and let's go for the fourth spin. <laughs> I 
again, really close to the punishment lies. I will need to see if I have a green book that can work, but yes, for the fourth spin, green it is. I have another option for a graphic novel, and this is The Magic Fish by Trung Li Nguyen. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I'm sorry, but basically this is another LGBTQ plus graphic novel, and basically the main character of the story moved to America, and his parents are refugees, and basically they have a really big language barrier, because they basically speak two different languages, and he's having a really hard time to get out of the closet in front of his parents because of this language barrier. Now, the illustrations here are also so, so beautiful, and the thing is that there is a lot of colors here. I'm not sure what the colors mean. Maybe it's like the mood of the story or something like this, but it looks like such sad and emotional graphic novel, but I do think that I'm really going to like it. And again, graphic novels are perfect. I do plan to tie reading both of those graphic novels in the Kingdom Hearts readathon. And yes, this is my fourth pick. So now let's begin for the fourth time. <laughs> the photo isn't a line in the background. The basically, this lies means a random genre. So I have here a wheel of genres that they made when they made the TBR game. I really hope for a good genre and not something like historical fiction. <laughs> but let's see what I'm going to get. I'm not sure why there isn't any sound. It was really disappointing, but okay. I got thriller, which is good. Like, I can work with thriller. Okay, so for a thriller, I'm going to choose a book that I have on script, and I'm planning to read it in an audiobook, and this is basically Local Woman Missing by Mary Kobika. And basically, we are following a town that 11 years ago, a lot of women started to disappear, and they didn't find why. And now, 11 years later, one of their women is getting back after she disappeared for 11 years, Basically, I really love books, especially thrillers that are about missing people. I'm not sure why, I just really love this trope, and it's a book that I've been eyeing for a while, and I have the audiobook version on my TBR, so I feel like it would be a really good book to just read in July, especially because I didn't read a thriller for a long time, so it's definitely a book that I would prefer reading in an audiobook. And finally, let's be in for the last time. Like you said, the prompts, slices, I'm not going to remove, but yes, let's be in it. I think that they can work with white. So finally, for the white book, I have a book that also was on my summer TBR, and this is Heartbones by Colin Hoover. Now, if you know me, you know Colin Hoover is one of my most favorite authors. I really love her books, I love her writing, and I think that this is probably one of the most, if not the most, anticipated book from her on my TBR. I didn't read all of her books, but I read a lot of them, but I do have some of her books on my TBR, and this is one of them. It's basically a white story. I don't want to know about it too much, because I do love to go to Colin Hoover books pretty blind, but from what I know, it's the most summery romance that she released. It's supposed to be pretty summery. We're following two teenagers, and it's supposed to discuss money, because one of the teenagers is coming from a poor family, and the second teenager is coming from a rich family. Basically, I usually find Colin Hoover YA books to be my favorite. I do love her adult books and new adult books. Most of her books are adult romances, but she has a few YAs that so far are my most favorite books out of I do have like a lot of adult romances from Colin Hoover that I loved, but I just really love why romances. Not sure why, I really really hope to love it too. I do have high expectations, but I'm trying not to have too high expectations, but I'm just really really excited and I just love Colin Hoover books so much. So this is my final July TBR, and I feel like my TBR game was nice to me this month. I do have a thriller, and I didn't read a thriller for a while, so it will be nice to read another thriller after I didn't read one for a long time. I do have two summary romances which are perfect for the summer. I love romance, it's my most favorite genre, so I'm happy that I have two romances on my July TBR. And of course, I have two graphic novels, which is perfect. I am going to use one of those for the comfort read in the Kingdom Hearts readathon. I'm not sure which graphic novel, but any graphic novel will work, and then I will just go with the poems, because I'm going to know them only when the readathon starts. But like you saw, I do have a really nice TBR. I feel like it's very achievable. And in overall, just 
great to be out from my birthday month. Like I said before, all the details for the Kingdom Hearts Redophone are going to be in the video description. So be sure to check it out. I feel that the interactive idea is going to be just so much fun. I'm really, really excited about it. Like I'm just ready to try and read more. And yes, I'm definitely super excited for July. I do manifest a really good month and I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Thank you.